This is just a short uh, rig tip covering um, some scripting and uh, custom shelf button click stuff. So let's get to it. Alright, so oftentimes uh, you've got a, a rig and you're trying to select a bunch of stuff and um, using file select all by type, I'm sorry, edit select all by type is fine, but that grabs everything in the entire scene and sometimes you just need to select what's in the hierarchy. Uh, so here's a simple script, it's a procedure, and um, it takes a string. So here you can see the procedure, and then this, in this case it's going to select everything by joint. And this is very simple, it's just mel, uh, it can be done with Python, but um, it's just using the list command, uh, dash dag and um, all paths. This basically does the same as going to edit select hierarchy and then this works on just selection. So for example if I were to select the top node of this mech rig um, it's going to just select everything within this um, from this node down and then it's going to take the uh, type. So this this filters the selection for certain object types. And uh, again, if you do edit select by type, you can see the, the types that you can select by. Um, so this is really simple, and you can just throw it on your shelf. And most of the time, I'm trying to grab um, joints. So if we source this, it's going to go through and it'll find, it'll select out of that hierarchy all the joints. And there you go. Uh, so you can throw this on the, on the uh, shelf. And now you can do some cool stuff, like add pop-up menus. So if you wanted to modify this, because this is just taking a type, um, and maybe you don't want to do joints, maybe you want to select constraints or controls. Uh, so select constraints, you just give it the command and constraint. And um, so now I've used it, it's sourced. I can go ahead and you can see this has got a lot of constraints in it. Maybe I want to just delete all the constraints that are in this hierarchy or I want to select them. Um, so I can just right click and go select constraints. And now it's going to run my code, but it's going to use type constraints instead of type joint, which is the default. And uh, you do that by going to edit. You can go pop up. And you can create a new pop up menu and you can name it whatever you want. Um, you know, groups or in this case I did controls. Um, so here I select NURBS curve which grabs the shape nodes of everything and then I do a pick walk. So I've added the two commands to the right click menu. So now if I go ahead and I select um, if I want to select just the control NURB control rig in this entire hierarchy, I can right click and I can say select controls. And it'll go through and it'll find all type NURBS curves and then it's going to do a pick walk up and grab the parent transform. So there you go. You can, you can create some really nice, uh, quick, useful tools um, instead of having to have a bunch of scripts or to remember all the different types and have to type it each time. Take advantage of the edit pop-up menu for the shelf and uh, add your different variables or different, different arguments directly into the button. Uh, you can also do double click, so if you wanted to, to um, you know, give it one command, select joints and then group them or uh, freeze trans, whatever you wanted to run, you can just have a double click as well. But uh, for something that has multiple choices, um, you could go through and set them all up so that instead of just doing a generic select all by type, you can go ahead and create a custom version of this menu but have it filtered by hierarchy and add it to your right click. So that's it for this rig tip. Hopefully you'll find it useful and uh,
keep learning, keep sharing, and enjoy.